Now, quickly, we will see the second category. The first category is sigma, pi, and rho. Now, you are becoming familiar with these three operations, sigma, pi, and rho. Now, we can go for the set theory operations. So from set theory, we will choose this union and then intersection. And this is you know, very interesting. This is called minus or set difference operator. We will see the application of uh, these three one by one. So first thing is union. Union operation is a binary operation. What is the meaning of binary? Binary operates on two relations. Relation one is there, union, relation two. Unlike sigma and pi, which operates only on one relation. Right. So this union operation is a binary operation denoted by U, uh, this union. And that includes all the tuples that are either in R or in S or in both R and S. Yes. The main thing is that the duplicate tuples are eliminated in the result all the duplicate element uh, uh, elements and the tuples are eliminated in the result remember the relation is a set and by definition set does not contain any duplicates any duplication but there is one condition if you are applying r union s or if you are applying the union compatible what is the meaning of union compatible union can only be taken from the same set of attributes okay union can't be uh, uh, you know between let's say cgpa and branch there is no relation in this case cgpa is there which is a numeric number between 0 to 10 let's say and there is a branch okay so branch is some alphanumeric characters so you can you cannot apply union in between because they are not compatible with each other but cgpa you can take a union with what? GGPA. GGPA, by the way, this is another term used for final results, GGPA. Or SGPA, all of you have heard about. So SGPA, you can take it with CGPA because all these things are from 0 to 10. And this is also from 0 to 10. And they are from the same, you know, a group also. So here you can take a union, but union with these two is not possible similarly for the intersection and similarly for the set difference operator right let's see one uh, intermediate uh, uh, you know example of union so here we see the ssn yes and here also we see the ssn even if it is e ssn or employee ssn or managerial ssn or any kind of ssn any kind of ssn then also union is possible remember what is domain should be compatible here i explain the same thing cgpa cgpa and sgp are two different things but they are in a range from 0 to 10 and ggpa is also in a range from 0 to 10 so they are compatible meaning exactly the attributes should not be same but they should be compatible this is the meaning of compatibility so result is what result is if you are taking a union so you have to take all the elements from this and from this and obviously duplications should not be there so obviously this would be taken this would be taken this would be taken and this would also be taken so you have taken one eight nine five five four four and five three last two i'm just counting and if you are coming here so this thing is repeating here it is repeating these two are same if you can see uh, double five double five at last double five double five double triple three and double four so triple three and double four so they are exactly same so we are not considering from here instead we are taking this a new entry this is a new entry which does not exist here so this is a new entry we are taking so what is the result of this union you have these one two three four five you know a tuples or a five elements in the resultant table how you would write expression in this result r is equal to that means assignment operator you are choosing r1 union r2 if you are taking this r1 this is the only expression that you have to write for the uh, you know a union in relational algebra let me give you one example here 
try to understand this example is slightly complex so imagine we want to combine these two queries using union operations i i need employees from department 5 whose salary is greater than 30000 okay so how can i write this i i need to combine these two things select employees from a department 5 all the employees from the department 5 and also i'm combining all the employees who are having a salary greater than 30 thousand greater than 30 thousand are they first of all are they compatible yes they are compatible how they are compatible because we are selecting from the employees only from the employees only so they are compatible we are not selecting from the different relation we are selecting from the same relation though they are compatible so we want to combine these two queries using union operations which will return all the employees who are either belong to the department 5 or have a salary greater than 30000 and this is also eliminating duplicates why they are eliminating duplicates because union is an operation and a set theory operations so duplicates will not be there only one set of record would be there in this case how can i write this query it's pretty simple students first i will write this query then i will write this query then i will take a union of this let me show you how can i write this first department number is equal to four sigma department number is equal to five sorry I, I beg your pardon i said four sigma department number is equal to five from employee and this is we are signing to r1 this is the first phase that we have uh, right although as a sequence you can write it this assigns r1 to the result of selecting employees from the department five so first query is then you can see here also how can i write this query very simple we have written this query so sigma department number is equal to uh, five again again i'm saying four but it is five so employees employee very simple now one more thing what i'm doing here is i'm assigning to r1 so i'm making some small relation that's it for this what i will do here is r2 and here i will sign what sigma salary greater than 30 30 000. and here what i will write is employee okay employee so here i would write employee and this is r1 and this is what r2 now can i take a union obviously i can take a union and how can i take a union very simple resultant relation is what r1 union r2 do you understand this thing resultant relation is r which is the union of r1 and r2 so r1 is compatible with r2 because both are coming from both are coming from what the same relation employee right now the twist is that can we convert this query into sql query can we convert the question is can we convert this query into sql what is the answer the answer is yes but not this way i will tell you how can we convert the answer is first query that's why i have broken into parts this is the first query that you have obtained right and this is the second query that you have obtained and there is no symbol in sql with this union this is a relational algebra but you can use the keyword union right so this is the first query r1 and you are taking a union with what r2 you are taking a union with r2 so this will give you exactly the same result as what r1 union r2 this is like a translation or a very simple translation of what relational algebra query of union right and can somebody think of is there any duplication in this no there is there will not be any duplications because in sql also i'm talking about now i'm talking about sql because we are taking what union so there won't be any duplications in that similarly what we have is the intersection operation intersection operation is again a type compatible only now i think you guys can understand what is the meaning of type compatibility right so this is also a type compatible what is the purpose of this uh, uh, intersection suppose in this case only uh, here we have done uh, the union part if we are taking a intersection 
वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन द मीनिंग ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन इज दैट कि वॉट आर द कॉमन एलिमेंट बिटवीन दीज टू कैन समबडी आइडेंटिफाई वॉट इज द कॉमन एलिमेंट बिटवीन दीज टू इफ यू कम हेयर इफ ट्रिपल फाइव दिस थिंग राइट दिस थिंग ऑल दो इट इज स्लाइटली मैसी बट यू कैन सी द एटलीस्ट द डिजिट सो वॉट इज कॉमन बिटवीन दीज टू द कॉमन इज वॉट दिस ट्रिपल थ्री एंड लास्ट uh double five double five this is the only common thing in that so as a result you would see only this thing okay so this uh, also very uh, you know easy if you have understood union then intersection is not a problem intersection is not a problem then uh, i'll give you a scenario we want to find employees who are both in department 5 and have a salary greater than 30000 Uh, can somebody identify the difference between the previous query and in this query previously we were using or and here we are using what and and have a salary greater than here you can see and have a salary greater than 30000 so you can break this into two parts similarly uh, to the previous query you can break this query department number is equal to 5 you can put it in r1 and salary greater than 30000 from Uh, employee you can put it into r2 then what would be the result result is r and this is what r1 intersection r2 now this expression you can put it in r can we translate it into sql also in sql how can you write it instead of a union you can use this keyword in sql which is called intersect intersect so select a star from employee where department number is equal to 5 intersect select a star from employee where salary is 30000 salary is greater than 30000 so uh, how will you write this uh, into sql and what would be the result actually you have some result from here and from here also you have some result and in between whatever the common thing is there that would be actually printed on the final so from here some rows are selected and from here some rows are selected and whatever the common between these two would come as the intersection i would request you to at least take a screenshot of this and try this query for relational algebra as well as for the sql so this is about what union as well as the intersection student